Craft breweries and distilleries have been growing in popularity. And a local rum distillery is shot to the top in a very short time. Dave Crowley has a story of Maggie's Farm. Maggie's Farm Rum has won a batch of medals since the craft distillery opened in the Strip District. Behind the copper covered bar is where they make the rum in large copper kettles. This is just the first run. After that, we'll do the second distillation, which is our spirit run. That's when we kind of fine tune the rum. Owner Tim Russell began making rum in this old warehouse less than three years ago. So these are actually our fermenters, and what they are are reclaimed dairy tanks that we got from a farm in uh, Hagerstown, Maryland. He took the entrepreneurial leap when he tired of the day job. I had to do it. I just the the life I was living previously, um, working a lot of hours for someone else. I figured I could do a lot better putting that time in towards myself. He was inspired by Bob Dylan's line, "I ain't gonna work on Maggie's farm no more." This one here is our daiquiri. It's a, it's a rum drinker's rum cocktail. The bar is open Friday through Sunday nights. Bottles are also available. In a recent competition of 400 distilleries in Chicago, Maggie's Farm won two gold medals and... One of those two gold medal rums actually went on and it actually won best in show. And now... I got an email from the editor of the 10 best portion of the USA Today to mention that we had been nominated as one of the 10 best rum distilleries in America. As of right now, we're about two days into the competition, and we're actually sitting at number one. Fans can vote once a day till September 12th. The owner says rum is an underrated beverage. There's a rum for everybody. They kind of just don't know it yet. With a salutation to a fine libation, I'm Dave Crawley.